This video is over geometric probability. Your essential question is how could knowing geometric probability be useful to you? First we need to discuss exactly what geometric probability is. This is another example of um, when we use part over whole and the ratio you get from putting the part of the prob uh, part of the area or um, distance over the whole area or distance that will give you the ratios that you would need to find your probability. And whenever we do geometric probability, we write our answers three different ways. You always have to know all three ways just so that you know um, what each of those are saying. So as you can see, the answers um, would be shown as a ratio, a percent, and a decimal. And that decimal needs to have four decimal places. Um, now I want to show you an example of a linear geometric probability problem. Here's the situation. Um, it says, Eric, Tom, Tony, and Darren are sitting on a bench watching a football game. Eric is seven feet from Tom, Tom is three feet from Tony, and Tony is nine feet from Darren. A pretty girl needs a seat. What is the probability she sits between Tom and Darren? So the first thing that you need to do is to basically draw out the situation um, as if it was a line. So this is how it says they are sitting. It's Eric, then Tom, Tony, and then Darren. And then we need to fill in how far apart from each other they are. And this is the number line they give you. It says that Eric is seven feet from Tom, and Tom is three feet from Tony, and Tony is nine feet from Darren. Um, then you need to take into account what it's asking or what, what the situation they're asking for is. And it says that she, what's the probability she sits between Tom and Darren. Then you need to figure out how long that is. So between Tom and Tony is three feet and between Tony and Darren is nine feet. So you'll add those two together to get 12 feet. Then you need to um, put in the part over whole situation. So it's the part, and in this case, the distance, part of the distance over the whole distance. So the part of the distance that she, um, we're seeing if she might sit in is 12 feet. And then the whole distance is, um, you add that seven feet to the 12, which would then give you 19 feet. Then you wanna put this in your calculator and do 12 divided by 19, and then math, enter, enter and see if it reduces it. In this case, it doesn't. So this would be my ratio, my fraction. Um, remember, you also have to give it two more ways, the decimal and the percent. Um, so for the decimal, you would just simply divide what's given there. So 12 divided by 19, which would be 0.631, and this would round up because of the seven, so one six. And remember, we wanna do four decimal places. So 0.6316. And then if um, you don't know how to turn that into a percent, you just simply multiply the decimal times 100, which gives us 63.16%. And you only need two decimal places of the percent, so 63.16. So again, this was math enter enter. This one, you just divide the two numbers and um, round it to four decimal places. And then this one, you just multiply the decimal times 100 and give two decimal places. Now I wanna show you an area example on the back. In this situation, we're given um, basically a bullseye and it wants to know what the probability is that we'll hit the shaded region or just the bullseye. Um, so what you do is still part over whole. You're just gonna do the part of the area of the smaller circle or the whole of the entire circle. So the bigger outside circle. Um, so it's still part over whole. 
And then you just simply put the area of the smaller circle, which is pi r squared. So pi and the radius of my smaller circle is seven squared over pi. And the radius of my bigger circle is 17 squared. Um, there's pi on top and pi on bottom, so those will cancel. And then you just need to square those two numbers, which seven squared is 49 and 17 squared is 289. So 49, over 289. But then we need to see if that can reduce it all. So get your calculator back out and do 49 divided by 289, math, enter, enter, and it doesn't. So that will be our ratio. We need to find our decimal. Um, you can actually do that with math also. If you look right underneath, fraction is decimal. So it'd be math two enter would turn that into a decimal. So 0.1696 will be our decimal. So 0 0.1696. And then our percent, you multiply this times 100 if you can't move the decimal over. And it's 16.96%. And let's check out another area of problem. In this next example, we wanna know the probability of hitting a shaded square. So we have the big square, um, which is 16 centimeters by 16 centimeters, split into a four by four grid where there are six shaded ones. And um, in the four by four grid, each of the smaller squares are four centimeters by four centimeters. So we need to set up our part over hole and then um, the area of each of the little shaded areas, there are six total of them, so we're gonna multiply it times six, and then just find the area of one of them. And they're four centimeters times four centimeters. And then that is gonna be over the area of the entire grid, which is 16 by 16 centimeters. And then put that in your calculator. So six times four times four is 96, and 16 times 16 is 256. Now we need to see if that can reduce. So 96 divided by 256, math, enter, enter, and it does to 3 eighths. Find the decimal of that, and it's 0.375. Find the percent of that and it's 37.5. Now I wanna show you an example using um, degrees of a circle rather than the area. Here is our degree example. It says, what's the probability of landing on purple or blue? And so there is a circle, you could think of it like a spinner. And so if I were to spin it, what's the probability that it would land on either purple or blue? So set up your part over hole. What is the part of the circle I'm looking at? Well, I'm looking at purple or blue, so 115 plus 75. Over the entire circle, which we know the degree of a whole circle is 360. Put that into a calculator and see what it gives you. The top is 190 and then over 360. Does that reduce? It does to 19 over 36. What is that as a decimal? It's 0.5278. What is that as a percent? And that's 52.78. Write your summary below and that is the end of your notes.